Hi students, this is Ms. Overly with Lesson 2-1, Inductive Reasoning and Conjecture. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to make conjectures based on inductive reasoning. You'll also be able to find counterexamples. Um, please turn to your vocab section. We have three words to define. First one is inductive reasoning. Inductive reasoning is reasoning that uses a number of specific examples to arrive upon a conclusion. What is conjecture? Conjecture is conclusion reached using inductive reasoning. And lastly, what is counterexample? Counterexample is a false example. It only takes one false example to prove a conjecture is not true. All right, so example one asks us to write a conjecture that describes the pattern in each sequence. Then use the conjecture to find the next item in the sequence. So here's our sequence. Movie show times are at 8.30 a.m., 9.45 a.m., 11 a.m., and 12.15 p.m. So step one when you're trying to make a conjecture is to look for a pattern. Do you see a pattern between all these times? Well, I'm noticing that there is one hour and 15 minutes between each start time. Step two is to make a conjecture. The show time is one hour and 15 minutes greater than the previous show time. The next show time will be 12.15 p.m. plus one hour and 15 minutes, otherwise known as 1.30 p.m. All right, let's look at this next pattern. So we have four toothpicks that make up this first image then 10, then 18, then 28, then 40. Again, step one is to look for a pattern. Do you see a pattern between 4, 10, 18, 28, and 40? I'm noticing the numbers first increase by six, then eight, then 10, then 12. So let's make a conjecture. The next figure will increase by 12 plus two, which is 14 toothpicks. So the next figure will have 40 plus 14 or 54 toothpicks. All right, example two. Make a conjecture about each value or geometric relationship. List or draw some examples that support your conjecture. So the sum of two odd numbers. So to make a conjecture here, we want to first list some examples. So let's think of some odd numbers and add them up and see if we can draw some conclusions. So one and three are odd, we end up getting four. Even, interesting. One and five are odd, we end up adding them to get a sum of six. Also even. Three plus five, both odd numbers, their sum is eight. Again, it's even. Seven plus nine, both odd numbers, their sum is 16. Again, it's even. So once we've listed examples, we can look for a pattern. Notice that the sums are four, six, eight, and 16. All of the sums are even. So we can make a conjecture. The sum of two odd numbers is an even number. All right, example B. Segments joining opposite vertices of a rectangle. So let's look at some pictures. Step one, list some examples, draw a whole bunch of rectangles, and connect the opposite vertices with segments. Can we make, um, notice any patterns here? Well, I notice that the segments joining opposite vertices of each rectangle appear to have the same measure. So I could use a ruler or a compass to confirm this. I'm going to take a moment to do that. And now I can make a conjecture. The statements joining opposite vertices of rectangles are congruent. They are equal in measure. All right, our last example for today is to find a counter example to show that each conjecture is false. So if n is a real number, then n squared is greater than n. Can we find a counter example for this? Can we think of any numbers for n that make this false? So a counterexample makes it false. Well, when n is 1, the conjecture is false, since 1 squared is 1 and 1 is not greater than 1. What about 
in this case, if JK equals KL, then K is the midpoint of JL. Can you draw a picture that makes this false? So if JK is equal in length to KL, then K is the midpoint of JL. Does that, can you think of a picture where this would be false? So here we have JK is equal to KL, and K is not the midpoint of JL. So that's a counterexample since it makes it false. So in this case, a good counterexample would be one when J, K, and L are all non-collinear, so they don't fall on the same line.